Hello. Uh, advanced spreadsheets pre-online revision paper. Um, we're going to look at another tricky area, uh, question 7. Um, asking us to open the revision workbook and in the survey worksheet enter the appropriate criterion in the cell range A2 to G3 and use a database function to display the average age of all the females who reply to the survey in cell B52. OK, so let's um, have a look at this question together. So uh, using the pre-online um, revision uh, work files, let's open up revision workbook. Um, we're looking for the survey worksheet, which is here. And if we go to the top of the worksheet, we've got a survey data and we've got a criteria area. So it's talking about us um, putting in some criterion with regard to females. So let's use an F there, copying the form, the type of um, letters they're using down here, F for female, M for, for male. And then here they're using a 1 to record um, people replying. So let's use a 1 there because we want to find people who are female and have replied to the survey. So the next thing is we go down into um, B52 to put our answer. And we need to look at the question now to decide on which database function we're using. So if we type in an equal and a D, then it will bring up a number of different database style functions. We can't find this in the FX if we go to the help. So the question is asking us for an average age. So that tells me that we know we're using a database function because it's a survey um, with criterion. So we use the D average and that will then um, suffice. So if we use the uh, insert function here and we can then um, answer our question. So the first thing we need is the database survey. So that's the whole of the data including its headings all the way down to the bottom and then drop down and you can see that it's a named cell range and it's named database. Now the different uh, thing about database functions is they use a field rather than a cell or range because Excel normally would have um, a range or a cell whereas in this case um, it's actually the age field that the database function is going to look up and down and find which females um, have replied and find the average of those um, results. So last thing we need to do is put in our criteria error which we've completed as our first option. So we highlight that area and drop down and you can see that we've already got a result of 61.17 and that uh, result is due to it calculating the average age of all females who answered this survey and that's the database function um, for question 7. Thank you.